welcome back to another video on my channel. Today is a really exciting one. I'm going to show you how to do a baby boomer French fade nail using poly gel. So the poly gel I'll be using is from Gelish Nail Harmony and I'll be using bright white, light pink and cover pink. You will also need the Nail Harmony Pro Bond and Gelish pH Bond as well as the slip solution. So let's get straight into the tutorial. So I've already prepped my nail and applied my tip, blended it and applied my pH bond and pro bond. So I am ready to go. So I'm going to be starting off with bright white and I'll be using my gelish oval tint brush which is specifically for poly gel. It's got the brush on one end and spatula on the other. I've decanted some of my slip solution in that little jar in the right hand side. I've just dipped my spatula in the slip so it makes it easier to slice off that product that I've just squeezed out. So I've decided I need a little bit more which is the beauty of this product, you can squeeze as much as you want out and just scrape some back in if you've taken too much. So I'm placing this on the last third of my nail towards the tip and as you can see here the consistency of poly gel it stays exactly where you've put it which is amazing. So I've dipped my brush in the poly gel and I'm draining the majority of that slip solution out of my brush. The reason why I do that is if you leave your brush too wet, the, the slip solution goes everywhere and it doesn't promote good adhesion for poly gel if it gets all over the nail plate and things like that. So it's best to take a bit of that slip solution out and it's also easier to manoeuvre the poly gel around. So after placing it on the nail, I'm just using my brush to even out that poly gel and push it into place. I will then be taking the end of my brush and starting to blend that white into my nail plate. So I won't be taking this white up further than halfway up my nail. So as you can see here, for different lengths of nail, obviously it will be slightly different. But this is just creeping into the last third of the nail, staying in the bottom half and you just need to slowly blend this. Take your time with this step, it's the most important step. If you leave a harsh line then you will see it through the other layers of poly gel so you need to make sure this is nicely blended. When you're blending this make sure you don't have too much slip solution in your brush because again too much of that going on the nail plate will cause the lifting. Then I'm just using my brush and bringing the rest of that white poly gel down the nail to the tip of the nail. Making sure I've got it even on both sides. Not worrying too much about the end because I obviously will be finished filing. After you've done that, that goes into the lamp for 60 seconds. So once that's back out of the lamp, I'll be using my cover pink now. Again, dipping my spatula into the slip solution and taking a bit of that poly gel. I decided I'd taken a little bit too much, so I just scraped a little bit in, which is the beauty of this product. So I'm going to be placing that directly on top of where we were blending the white. As you can see here, showing you a side angle to show you how stiff this product is. So taking my brush again and patting it from side to side, Poly gel is very different to both acrylic and gel. I am acrylic and gel tech and now obviously poly tech. So I can compare with poly gel to the other two systems. It is unlike anything else I've ever used. It is really cool and innovative. I'm loving using it but I also love acrylic and gel. I feel like they're good for different clients and they're good for different techniques and designs. So again, doing the same method as what we did with our white poly gel, we're just blending that into the nail plate. Again, we need this to be really flush and smooth so that it's a nice transition when we apply our next layer. So I decided I wanted a little bit more poly gel here, so I'm just showing you how easy it is to add. I've just added that tiny bit of poly gel onto the nail. Still left that other pink poly gel, it's not cured so it's still pliable and it just blends seamlessly into the other gel. 
really easy to work with really easy to use as you can see here it's got that seamless you almost can't see when my nail starts and the poly gel begins so I'm now beginning to pull the rest of that poly gel down the nail this is where you're going to create your fade into the white so making sure you're pulling it down evenly from one side of the nail to the other you can be quite firm with this so press quite firmly with your brush to really create that seamless blend if you're too gentle it'll get quite blocky so you want to really push it and melt it into that white so you creates that soft blend So that's the next step done as you can see there's not much apex but that's what we're going to do in the next step so cure in your lamp for 60 seconds so now we're going in with the light pink which is the sheer pink poly gel I'll be taking quite a large bead of this because this is the bead that we will be creating our apex and our structure so I'm going to place that the next step up so exactly where that previous poly gel color ended and I'll be placing that on I'm just showing you how you can use a spatula also to push it into the rough place that you want so taking my brush again and repeating that same process of blending the back of that bead into the nail once you get this down it really makes a hell of a difference when you'll come to finish filing because you can literally make this so flush into the nail in the stage of applying the poly gel and manoeuvring it with your brush that you won't hardly need to do any filing to get that cuticle area flush as you can see here it just melts really nicely into your nail so take care and take time because it will reduce your filing time so I haven't touched the rest of the bead I've literally just worked on that cuticle area as you can see so I've got that big lump there that I'm now going to start working on so I'm just patting it, making sure I've got an even amount from side wall to side wall and enough in the centre of the nail for the apex. And I'm just starting to bring that product down the nail, kind of pushing and patting and pulling at the same time. And this is very similar to how acrylics used by the pushing and pulling method. You wouldn't be able to do this with a hard gel. It would just make a big mess. So again, just pulling this down the nail, right over that white, right up until the end of the nail. Use your brush to make sure that the poly gel is nice and smooth. Again, this just minimizes time of filing. And then you can really easily, if you've used a bit too much product, use your spatula and just chop the end bit off. You can either move that onto the next nail that you're working on or dispose of it. It's completely up to you. So that is that stage done. Curing your lamp for the final 60 seconds. So once this is out of the lamp, that is the difference between the finished filed and top coated nail to the product applied. So we'll be going into your filing routine now. I've just showed you a little bit of my filing routine. I do side wall, side wall, free edge. And then go around the cuticle area, making sure it's nice and flush, which hopefully it already is because you've taken the time to create that smoothness around the cuticle because poly gel is beautiful for that kind of thing, really easy to use. So I skipped over most of the filing and I'm just using this manicure brush to dust off any of that poly gel and then going around again making sure my cuticle area is really smooth. Using a 100 and 180 buffer, going over that nail, really buffing it. Because this is the design, we're not painting it with gel polish, I want to get rid of any scratch marks or anything like that. Again, dusting over and then going in with some cleanser to get rid of any dust and debris before we apply our top coat. So going in with gelish top it off and I'll be applying one layer of this to the whole nail. And 
and that is the nail done. Curing your lamp for 30 seconds to cure that top coat. Going in with my cleanser and cleansing off the inhibition layer. And then applying your cuticle oil to finish off the service. So that is the Baby Boomer French Fade all done. I'm trying to show you from different angles to show you the shape and the structure of this nail. Poly Gel is really beautiful to work with. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I still love acrylic and my hard gel as well. But this is awesome, really awesome product. I'm absolutely in love. And as you can see, it's super easy to create that Baby Boomer French Fade nail. You could also use that cover pink right up until the cuticle area, but I just like it to fade into the natural nail. That's why it's nice when it grows out, it looks more natural. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!